guys, what's up? This is Stephanie in Nashville, and today I want to talk about these new Wet and Wild eye palettes. Uh, they're called Color Icon, and I have not been so excited about a drugstore find um, in quite some time. So, I just talked about in my summer favorites um, this Lust palette, and it's probably one of my favorite things for the summer so far, and I think this is going to carry me well in the fall. Um, I love these purple and cream tones, and the color payoffs for these are just unbelievable for a drugstore brand. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy. So, last week, Rite Aid had their Wet n Wild Cosmetics 2 for 1, as I learned, and so I went and I bought these two palettes. The Lust and the Greed. These are normally $4.99, but I got all 12 of these colors for $5. And that was just such a such an incredible buy. Um, there is a little bit of overlap in these two palettes because there's this kind of slate gray, and this one has something very, very similar. Um, but all in all, you know, not much overlap, and I, I really, really do recommend both of these palettes. They're fantastic, so definitely check those out. I liked them so much, I decided to go back and buy the other two palettes. And here's what we've got. We've got a, a brown palette and then kind of a, a maroon, it's called Pride palette. Um, I haven't had a chance to use the brown palette too much yet, but I know I will use it moving forward in the, into uh, fall and winter. I have been using this dark brown color here as a brow filler, and I've been quite pleased with that, and I really like this uh, gold tone, so I'm anticipating using that above uh, my crease and maybe in the interior corner a little bit. And finally, I've got this Pride, which is kind of a marine, marine colored, and this is probably my least favorite. Um, I imagine this would probably be these are some intense colors. You've got to be brave to put that green and that navy blue on your eye. Um, but I like the way that they've kind of divided these up. They've got the matte down here and then kind of a shimmer of the same above. So, you know, you can put a little layer of the shimmer above your matte. And in general, I really like what they're going for here. I tried these colors yesterday and I was... Um, it wasn't as good as, as I had hoped, but I think if I had the right shirt or the right accessories, I would be a little more brave. And maybe if I was going out at night, I don't think these are appropriate for any day, or at least not for someone my age. But I cannot, again, reiterate how impressed I am with these color icon colors. Now, if you look at the Wet n Wild um, display, they'll have like, they have like singles and they have duos and they have these quad, well this isn't a quad, it's more of a palette because it's got six, but um, you'll see that the descriptions underneath say what the powders are for, and it says that these are more intense. So I anticipate that if you bought the duos or the singles, the color payoff may not be quite as much. Um, so that's why I decided to stick with these palettes. And super happy. And also, while I was there, I picked up two items. You know, they were two for one, so I got two other things. I got this natural wear lip shimmer which is just kind of a, a lip balm and I really am liking this. It's actually got quite a bit of color. So this is great to throw in your bag or your book bag uh, and retouch. You don't really have to have a mirror to apply. So I would definitely buy that again and possibly in other colors. It's got a little bit of a mint scent to it but not too heavy. And the last thing I bought is this Energizing Lip Shine, which has got uh, kind of a pearlized pink. And I, I don't like this. Um, first of all, it's got the strangest applicator. It's hard. So, I don't know. When, when you squeeze, it, it wants to come out that really hard applicator. But it's hard to open. You can see when I start to pull it open, this bottom part feels like it wants to come off. I feel like I'm going to break it, <laughs> and I, I probably will. This color also has a little bit of a mint flavor to it, um, and, but 
I'm not impressed and would not buy the speed gloss again. At any rate, that's my wet and wild review. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.